This is a short low quality video with fans in the background rambling about the Rosenberg connector. They don't deserve good audio quality because they are a piece of shit. <laughs> they are magnetic. And what happens to something that is magnetic? It sticks to metals. Do you want a charging port that is magnetic that attracts metals? No, you do not. You, you, you do not want... This is so stupid. The, the, this was uh, called the new standard for electric bike charging by... It's not because these plugs... Yes, this one, not a pair. Yes, this one costs like 20 bucks. Yes, for this fucking magnetic thing. Because it's a cool name, Rosenberg, and it's made in German, it's like, ooh, fancy. When people use this, when manufacturing batteries, both in Germany and China, they do not activate this. They do not have an activation switch. They just put, put positive and negative into these holes. So, if metal attracts them, then fuck you. Your fault. But anyway, those pins, here you go, uh, Pentax battery, almost impossible to do anything with. So poorly built, and it's built by Beamsa, this idiot in German, overcomplicate things. And here you can see the other part of the Rosenberg connector. So usually you just have plus and minus, and of course both parts are magnetic. Both uh, th this one and this one are magnetic. But I'm gonna show you where usually there are as you can see there are four pins, two pins are usually used for data, but these ones are only used to put it on and off. And these are the bottom ones, when you have the one over here. And I can show you in the charger how they do. They have a signal from uh, the battery going into the charger, and then going out again in the charger. You, you could just as easily put this loop in this one. But here they just decided to put this like a loop-de-loop -loop over here. So, nothing fancy. This charger is not communicating with the battery or the BMS at all. It just has positive and negative. So there's full power over here on a magnetic connector. Simply great. This means if you have this piece of crap battery, you can replace it with any other charger. I would um, use a 4-pin XLR because it will fit fucking perfect in here. And then you have four pins so you can connect these two, two pin, I would use two and three and use one for positive and four for negative, but that's usually the standard for four pin XLR. Why the fuck does it say 44.6 volt? Is this a 48 volt battery? Yeah, it's a fucking 48 volt battery. Oh, it was a nightmare to open. Uh, I will never ever accept these kind of batteries again. So if you charge her with a Rosenberg brakes, can you just do this? But usually the reason it breaks is because it's fucking magnetic. MAGNETIC!